Hi guys, Andrea here and I have our latest edition of our after school special publication which is all about the Chinese New Year. So the Chinese New Year does last for a couple weeks actually and we're getting close to the last day. So traditionally the last day is when the lantern festival happens which it looks like according to our after school special that is going to be Friday February 26th. So one of the crafts we have in here is making a paper lantern. So, super simple, you just need like a piece of paper, cardstock works best, but regular paper will work okay too. Um, ruler, pencil, scissors, and a stapler if you have one. Those are pretty handy, if not, some glue would work just fine and some things to decorate. I have some washi tape, but you could decorate with markers, stickers, um, crayons, whatever you want. So the first thing that we're going to do here is cut just about one inch off the end of this paper, off the short side. So I'm just kind of like gonna roughly eyeball that. Now, save this strip. You're gonna need it for later. Okay, and then you're gonna fold your paper in half lengthwise, just like this, okay? And that's when your ruler comes in handy. You're gonna take your ruler and just put it on the end of your paper here and mark a line. So now you can see the paper and the line there at the top. So we're gonna take the scissors and we're gonna make some cuts, but we don't want to cut above this line we made. So, I'm just gonna make a few different cuts here, about the same size. I mean, they don't have to be, it's up to you. It's your lantern, but that's what I'm going to do. So now when you unfold your paper, it looks like this, right? So then what you want to do is you're going to put it together, okay? So now you can see on the bottom that where the line is that I made, and you could use just some tape or a stapler would be the easiest, but if you don't have either of those, you could use some glue. You'll just need something to hold it together while it dries. So I'm just gonna staple this in and staple this other end. And there we go. So now you could go ahead and decorate it. I have some washi tape here. Now, this strip, we need it for our handle, but you know what? I think I'm gonna put some more washi tape on here. Let's fancy it up a little bit. There we go. Okay, and I'm just gonna staple it, but you could tape it or glue it, but I really like stapling if you have a stapler because it's very fast and easy. So, there you have it. There's our lantern for Chinese New Year. Now, there's another craft in here that's really super fun too. I'm gonna put that right there for right now. And that is making a firecracker. So, this is gonna be fun. For this one, you're gonna need a few different things. Toilet paper roll. This one was already painted red, so that's great. Um, a balloon. I got two just in case I accidentally pop one. Some confetti. I just happen to have a full bag of confetti, but if you don't, you know, you can just tear up some bits of paper or if you have a hole punch at home. Um, 
use the hole punch to cut out a whole bunch of those little circles. Um, so that'll work for confetti. And let's see, is there anything else we need? Oh, scissors. And that's it. So let's see. It says what we need to do here is take the knotted half of a balloon and stretch it over the end of a toilet paper tube. So, okay. I'm feeling a little bit iffy about this because I'm like, ah, how is this gonna fit? It seems kind of small. Let's see if we can do it. This is probably the hardest part right here. Maybe try stretching it out a little bit. Okay. Yeah. I think we got it now. Okay. There we go. Oops, it kind of bent a little bit. Just gonna stick my scissors in there. It kind of looks like it's gonna come off too. So make sure you got it on there pretty good. You can see, I think I got it on there pretty good. I hope that I do. We are about to find out. Okay, it says secure the balloon with a piece of tape, which, which I forgot, but that's fine because I have washi tape, so we will just use that. And, whoops, I've almost got it. Okay. Okay, right, so I have the balloon on here, have some tape holding the balloon, and now you could, again, use markers or stickers or whatever you want um, to decorate, but since I already have this tape out, I think I'm just gonna stick with the tape. What do you think? Yeah, okay. Go ahead and put in our confetti. All right, let's do it. I'm gonna, you probably don't wanna stuff it full. It, I mean, maybe you do. It's gonna be kind of messy, so just remember. You'll probably have to clean that. Okay. Originally, um, the firecrackers were to scare away evil spirits. So here we go. I think I just, let me make sure. Hold this and let go. Okay, let's see if it works. Okay, well, that did not work. <laughs> let's try it again. Oh, <laughs> that so did not work. Okay, okay, now I know. You have to pull it back really hard. There we go. Okay, well, anyways. <laughs> That's why I have a second balloon, so I can try it again, because now I know that um, I need to really kind of stretch it out and pull it back a little bit harder. But anyhow, that was lots of fun. Um, so I, guys, I hope you guys have fun um, making some crafts for Chinese New Year, and I will see you guys next time.